Hi guys, welcome to Be Thrifty. My name is Jasenia and today we are crafting from our cauldron. And this is hosted by my good friend Kiki from Kiki DIYs. I will have the link to her channel down below in my description as well as a playlist to everyone else who participates in this challenge. And in this challenge we are to create something for Halloween. So I am excited about that. Let's get started. All right guys, so for this project, Halloween inspired project, we're gonna be using these branches that I got from my front yard and I will be painting them in black. This is just black acrylic paint and I'll paint these and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm glad Kiki motivated me to do a project for Halloween because I don't usually do anything for Halloween um, any DIYs for Halloween I just decorate with whatever I have but I don't actually do any DIYs for it so I'm glad that she encouraged us to do this because I'm having a lot of fun doing it <laughs> and uh, and I do enjoy going trick-or-treating with my nieces and nephews because my own kids are much older now and they don't really like going trick-or-treating with their parents but um, my nieces and nephews like to go trick-or-treating and I like going with them let me know down in the comments below if you are going trick-or-treating this year or at least try to I don't really know if it's going to happen this year but let me know down in the comments below if you like going trick-or-treating. This is a smaller piece of the branch that I'll be attaching to the bigger piece. I'm going to attach a few extensions to the bigger branch so that it looks a little bit more full and a little bit more menacing. <laughs> Just kidding. If this hot glue gun works, that is. Okay, just attach it there. Let it dry. And it's spewing all over the place. So great, 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 great. Spewing. All right, guys, so the hot glue did not work. So instead, I'm going to use some super glue. Hopefully, this will hold it. Okay, put some on both ends. And stick together. Nope, not working. And as you can see, that super glue stuck to my finger. And now I have to try to remove it. And uh, looks like it's gonna be painful. So, yeah, the casualties of DIYing. <laughs> this is a mess. Okay, guys, so neither the hot glue or the super glue worked for securing this branch. It just was not sticking. So I had to use some tape right here to secure it to the bigger branch. And that is pretty good. It's good to go I painted over it so you can't see it and I also painted over the hot glue that's right here so I had to use a combination of all three to secure the branch and uh, now it's holding it's pretty good now unfortunately the super glue is still stuck to my finger <laughs> so I got to figure out how I'm going to take it off if you have any suggestions please let me know I'm gonna try with some warm water see if that works but yeah, it's stuck there. All right guys, so I cut out all the bats that I need for this project. I used my Cricut to create the shape, but the cardboard was a little bit too thick for the Cricut to cut all the way through. So I used some scissors for that and my daughter helped me on this project because it was a lot of cutting. And I will be hanging these off my branches. All right, so the paint on my branches is dry, and the next thing I'm going to do is hang the bats 
off each branch and for that I'm going to use some fishing wire and it's clear so you won't be able to see it and I'm going to cut a piece of wire for each of my bats and they're going to be at different lengths so that the bats look like they're flying at different uh, heights and I'm going to use a pointy object to poke a hole through the bat so that I can fish my wire through and be able to hang it. And I'm gonna use a piece of black tape to secure it on the other side. And that's how my bat is going to hang. The last thing I'm going to do is tie the bats to the branches. All right guys, this is the final look of my bat installation inspired by crafting from my cauldron with Kiki DIYs. And I actually had a lot of fun making this. It was very easy, very simple uh, and straightforward. And the materials that I used were basically free. Um, the cardboard I already had and the branches I got from my front yard. So it was free. And I think it looks pretty good. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comments. Alright guys, that was the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe because it doesn't cost anything. So, I would like to thank Kiki for giving us this opportunity, and I will see you next time. Let's keep being thrifty together.